tall, lush, leafy, strong. Here in BC, we are famous for our forests. We have over 40 native species, and 60% of our province is covered in them. But there's been some struggles in our trade landscape, with hard black shells as tiny as a grain of rice. The mountain pine beetle epidemic, combined with many severe fire seasons, has brought worry to our woods. You can't help but wonder, are they at risk? If BC is to remain um, um, a forest-based economy, um, and for our forest to provide uh, benefits to citizens of British Columbia and the world, um, we need to ensure that we're managing our forests in a sustainable manner. The Association of BC Forest Professionals says one of the best ways to do just that is by going back to the basics and beginning with the seed. It's called reforestation and a few places in Saanich are working diligently to rebuild our woodlands. We call this the Saanich Seed Orchard and so the seeds that we produce from this orchard uh, go back into uh, uh, growing at a nursery and then uh, go to the reforestation industry for reforestation out in the harvested sites. We followed a group of media and forestry experts on a tour of the Saanich Seed Orchard. Turns out seed production is a lot more detailed than I first thought. It begins with collecting cones from a tree. The cones are dried out, packaged and shipped off to have their seeds extracted. Those seeds are then sent out to nurseries to begin the growing process. As of today, we're about 246 million seedlings are being sown in nurseries around the province to, to be planted. And of the seed that's used to produce those seedlings, roughly 60% of that comes from seed orchards like this. But the type of trees grown at each nursery in the province varies. Trees can't grow in every climate, so if you were to take this Sitka spruce, for example, and extracted the seeds from its cones and tried to plant it in the interior of BC, it just would not last because the cold weather would just be too much. These are my babies. <laughs> but BC is trying to migrate their trees through strategic planting. British Columbia is the first jurisdiction that we know of that has modified its reforestation policies to account for recent, past and future projected climate change. By planting some trees just a little bit outside of their ideal climate, they're able to build up a stronger resistance to changing weather patterns, something this tree expert believes is crucial. It's not like other, like the oil and gas, where once you've taken it out of the ground, it's gone. Uh, we can harvest our trees and, and replant them and keep the cycle going indefinitely. Some tree breeders are even modifying tree species to be resistant to insects, disease and even deer. We'll hopefully begin to see the benefits of these trees after harvest, which can take up to 10 years. In Saanich, I'm Jen Moranitz for The Daily.